Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to uh, discuss the remaining part of month and closing CEO month and closing activities. Uh, part three. Uh, we had a uh, total three parts in this uh, uh, session. CEO month and closing activities value flow. So the, uh, if you have not seen uh, previous two parts, please watch that. Now, this is the last part where we are going to discuss uh, the remaining steps in the month and closing activities with value flow. Uh, I would also request you to subscribe this channel uh, for, for upcoming videos. Uh, also, press the bell icon uh, to, to get the notification uh, for my upcoming videos. Thank you. So let's start now. Yeah. So this is the se uh, seventh step uh, where we do WAP calculation. So in this step, system calculates and store the total value of materials and activity types consumed to the production order, which is called WAP. And there won't be any financial posting in this step. The WAP posting or reversal of WAP posting is at the time of uh, settlement of production order. That means accounting entry will be created at the time of settlement of production order based on the status, uh, based on the status of the production order, right? If production order is in release status, uh, when we do the do the settlement, WAP account is debited and change in WAP account get credited. If production order is in technically completed status, then previously posted uh, uh, posted WAP is reversed and variance is posted. Now let's take an example where uh, we will see some values how it flows. Let's assume we are consuming to a production order uh, around uh, one lakh quantity of raw materials, cost of cost of one lakh uh, raw material cost. 1 lakh is being consumed to the production order and labor cost is 25,000. Power cost is 5,000. So total work in progress is 1 lakh 30,000. Okay. So below accounting entry is generated at the time of settlement of production order. We are assuming that this production order is in lease status. So post production order is this production order is in lease status. No finished material is received and consumed below materials in this activity. So we have uh, finished uh, this, this this many things have been consumed to the production order. We have not received the finished material from the shop floor. So this is the at the, at the time of month and this uh, when we do WAP calculation, this is the accounting entry. WAP account will get debited with one lakh thirty thousand and change in WAP account get credited with one lakh thirty thousand. So that's about uh, the seventh step that is to WAP calculation. Now let's move to the eighth step which is called variance calculation transaction code kks2 um, here system calculates the difference between standard cost of the finished product received and the actual cost incurred to manufacture that product there won't be any <clears throat> accounting posting at this step the accounting posting is at the time of settlement at the time of settlement, system will reverse the WAP if any posted on the previous month and post the variance to the accounting uh, at the time of settlement. Here, accounting will be debited. Uh, here, accounting will be debit the variance account and credit the change in inventory account. Now, let's see here um, example. Suppose production order 1001 is in technically completed or delivered status. Finished material received uh, to the uh, st uh, store location from the shop floor. And that is below variance have posted. Let's assume mm -hmm. uh, for the production order, as per the bomb, it is one lakh. Uh, uh, the raw material cost will be one lakh. But when the, we, uh, in, at the time of production, we have consumed raw material which is costing 1 lakh 10,000 uh, rupees uh, costing raw material have been and that means excess raw material has been consumed and uh, labor cost is same as 25,000 and power cost is 5,000 5, but when we receive the finished product we have 1 lakh 30,000 where it's got received but uh, system has stored uh, uh, the variance of 10,000 uh, system has identified as 10,000 
variance because finished material is one like that is not you can you can see the uh, uh, formula here so that means it will calculate uh, summation of one lakh ten thousand plus twenty five thousand plus five thousand minus one lakh thirty thousand that will be the production variance so this is this the first three lines are actual consumption uh, or actual uh, cost incurred to manufacture the product and one lakh thirty thousand is the standard cost of the product uh, finished product received uh, so that difference is 10,000. So that, that's where system calculated this variance. And below accounting entry get generated at the time of settlement. Uh, here system reverses previous WAP, call, WAP posting and post the variance. So <clears throat> the posting to variance is captured corresponding to the material and profitability segment. So this is the accounting entry. WIP account uh, one like thirty thousand credited and change in WIP account one like thousand seven. That that is the reversal of pre previous WIP posting and the variance posting. So variance account is get debited with ten thousand and change in inventory get credited with ten thousand. So that's about the variance calculation. So next, uh, um, the closing activity that is ninth step. Uh, so here it is the settlement. So settlement uh, performs U88, uh, the transaction code. We already explained the accounting posting at the time of settlement of production order on previous two steps. So uh, here one checkpoint is that after settlement, you, you will notice that all your production orders have balance have become zero. Okay, so we had um, certain checkpoints in our previous video sessions also we discussed. The first checkpoints comes at the time of assessment cycle. So that most of your common cost centers uh, will become zero. Suppose if, if there are some utility expenses are still remaining, don't worry, that will get uh, uh, moved out when you do the COPA assessment cycle that we will discuss in the upcoming step. Okay, so the, the second checkpoint is um, uh, first checkpoint is uh, cost center assessment cycle. Second checkpoint is uh, uh, revaluation of production order. So here your production order, uh, uh, your production cost centers will become zero. How, how it will become zero? We discussed in the previous session. That is uh, after actual activity price calculation, we revaluate your production orders with the actual activity price. Then your production order will become zero. So the third uh checkpoint is this one so where you do settlement of production order so your production order will become zero so now this is all about settlement now we will go to the next step which is ckml cp which is actual costing run so in our previous uh two videos i have uploaded related with the uh, material ledger actual costing where we have already discussed what are the accounting entries in a very detailed manner um how the accounting impact and uh, another video I have posted how the value flows in actual costing. So if you have not watched those videos, please watch that. Um, uh, and uh, so here I'm just mentioning about uh, just in a very high level, uh, 10 step CKMLCP is the transaction code, actual costing run. We should make sure that, so as a prerequisite, you better make sure that all the checkpoints we discussed just now, so all are zero. So we should make sure that common core centers, uh, production core centers, um, <clears throat> production orders balance are zero before running actual costing run. So it's a, uh, just just a check that we our uh, all month and closing activities have been performed uh, correctly before running the actual costing run. As a result of uh, actual costing, uh, periodic unit price is updated in the material master and revaluation of inventory and CUGS is posted in accounting. Okay. And the last step. So here is the COPPA assessment cycle. So KEU5, that is our transaction code. Here we distribute uh, indirect expenses posted in common or utility uh, cost centers uh, to profitability segments based on the uh, revenue GL posting. So um, if I tell some examples of indirect expenses such as uh, marketing expenses or R and D expenses uh, are, are some for some examples. Yeah, this is the last uh, checkpoint where we make sure that all common and utility cost centers become zero. Uh, after this last step, we are ready to produce COPA report uh, using Fury app such as market segment report or gross margin analysis report. 
So this is all about uh, CO month, uh, CO period and closing activities value flow. Um, so I'm just trying to include uh, the year beginning activities of uh, controlling uh, also in this uh, video. So I'm just short it. So the, uh, at the beginning of the year, we, we do the cost center activity type planning where we maintain activity rate corresponding to activity type and cost center that is KP26. So the, there is alternative way of uh, doing it. Like first we maintain the activity quantity in KP26 and uh, maintain the values in KP06. Then we will perform uh, 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 planned activity splitting. Then we will perform a plan assessment cycle. Then we will perform KSPI for planned activity rate calculation. So lengthy stuff. So in my experience, what I've observed that when I explain these two methods, uh, the one way to uh, uh, is to perform all these steps. Uh, the second way is uh, is the short step where we uh, where a business can directly maintain the plan rate corresponding to activity type and the cost center the rate specifically in the KP26 screen. So in my experience, all clients have. Uh, uh, opted for this for this for this option, uh, so they don't have to perform all the other steps like uh, uh, maintaining KP zero six, um, plan activity splitting, plan assessment cycle, plan assessment cycle, plan, um, plan activity rate calculation. All these steps can be avoided. So that's the first step. Second step is uh, we can make sure uh, we make sure that all the what out materials are updated. So whenever we create a uh, material, if you have created a material, you have to update the standard price uh, directly in the standard price field. Or if you have not maintained, um, you know, you can MR21, you can, uh, if some price has to be changed, if you think that uh, some standard price in the uh, bought out material has to be changed using MR21, you can change the price, update the price. The third step is uh, product cost planning, uh, where we do the where we can run the standard costing run for each plant, so that uh, standard material uh, standard cost get updated in the material master. That is CK forty N. So one point I need to mention when about uh, what about material. So as long as we are running actual costing run, it's it's always good to uh, recommended to maintain standard price for all the materials, including uh, bought out materials or trading materials, everything. Okay. So uh, that's all about uh, uh, this session. Thank you so much. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Bye.